Peace, love, and poetry, y'all. Uh, it's Oso Lobo, also known as the Propaganda Poet. Uh, and I'm here today because I really just don't know what to say anymore. I thought for sure that the world would be better than this, but I guess I was wrong. Time to go write another song. You see, this world makes no sense to me, so I make music and poetry. So it is an honor and a gift to be here uh, performing for BWAMs, and right now you are listening to Fresh Cuts. <laughs> I'm going to read uh, poems and songs and share with you and thank you for sharing this universe with me. It took millions and millions of events, millions and millions of years for this moment to happen. So thank you for sharing it. Um, this first one is out of my book called Word Tornadoes. New book just came out recently. This is called Bait and Switch. I really want to write a poem to show them that it really is time to put down the fucking guns and stop slaughtering everyone to reach enough people to teach this hypocrisy dichotomy of being both pro-life and anti-gun control for real yo this shit is taking its toll but honestly i just can't anymore I really want to write a song where we can all actually get along and can rationally discuss this Handmaid's Tale reality created by a, by a GOP calamity as they continue to use your own religion as ammunition against you to somehow spread contagion, diametrically opposing the actual teachings of your Christ. But honestly, I just can't anymore. I really want to write a story without all the gory details about systematic oppression hiding racism's true intentions. I mean, how many times do we have to learn the same damn lessons before they actually leave an impression and revolution finally gets more than just an honorable mention? But honestly, I just can't anymore. My America doesn't torture. My America doesn't kill. This bumper sticker wisdom might call out this system that feeds upon the victims, but the problem still thrives. We do not live in the same America. It's us versus them, and we're at it once again, divisive to the end, yet still all struggling to survive. We do not live in the same America. This keeps us all apart, separates us from our hearts, stripping humanity from the start, leaving us lost in all the cracks. We do not live in the same America. If we keep the status quo, we'll have nowhere left to go, with no potential room to grow, leaving us all open to attack, because we do, in fact, all live in the same America. And now I'm going to do an old piece that I haven't done for a while, so I'm going to have my cheat sheets over here. So uh, here we go. Um. Today, it's okay to be alive. Yesterday, my perception might have strayed a different way. That is to say, on those days, it's important to entertain the pain because today, it's okay to be alive. Today is a good day, but not to die. You see, I cannot tell a lie. I ain't got time for that uncertain future because I'm still too busy trying to decipher my past. It would appear that manifest death -stiny has captured my destiny, so now I'm not even quite sure what my ancestry is, but from what I've been able to gather, the story goes a little something like this. Many, many moons ago, some random Trader Joe fell in with the Shawnees, and then he just took one of their nieces because he was raging about being disrespected on what was actually a good trade. But just like any other treaty being tossed out to the tribes, he failed to mention the bribes or extortion or the shape-shifting ways of terms and conditions, but he had plenty of ammunition for any retort they might have had. To make a long story short, it would appear that dear old granddad went out on a binge and brought himself home a engine girl. Now, she might not have been an official slave, but she gave and gave and gave, and gave. And one day he did plant his seeds, but somehow she found some inner solace by tending to their needs. And now, some four generations later, I am me. 
and I did not ask to be born on the white side of the tracks to have my blood thinned pale. I did not ask to be grown in shrink-wrapped suburbs where summer camp reduced my indigenous heritage to Indian arts and crafts. I did not ask for a bleached mother of blood drained of all color because image was more important than imagination and appearance meant more than my past. I did not ask for the honor words that a Lakota man once gifted to me, even though I did not ask for them. He said, you don't have to have red skin to have a red heart and journey the red road. Leon Petokin Liloash Day, today is a good day, but not to die. Today is a good day to be alive. Our eyes have grown accustomed to the dark. Money, power, sex, drugs, blood, guts, media visions. Our eyes have grown accustomed to the dark. Bar bands, quick hands, keep your eyes on the red card. Lie, cheat, steal, get everything you ever wanted. You just best not take it from me. Our eyes have grown accustomed to the dark. We have forgotten the old ways. How to love, honor, respect. Mitako ye o yasin. I am one with all. We are all related. We are all connected. Listen to the four leggeds and the winged ones. Listen to the grandfathers. Listen to Mother Earth. Great Spirit may not always give us what we want, but always knows what we need. These are the things that we have forgotten because our eyes have grown accustomed to the dark. Okay, I'm gonna do one last bit for you. This is kind of a poem, kind of a song, kind of a response to an MC battle that I lost horribly because I'm not an MC battle guy. I don't do that at all. It doesn't come off the dome, but you know, the great writer's curse, I came up with the greatest things to say the next day. And this world needs a poet. Whack ass poets had best take heed, but that's all you're ever gonna get from me. Myself and I had a conference call, and we thought that we'd get a hold of y'all so we could crack your skulls and rack your brain, stretch your imagination, cover your pain, cause I've been there too, and so have you. So perhaps we should stop missing the cue and learn to get along a little better. This lonely dog stuck in the rain, getting wetter shit has got to end. So I thought I'd send you some thoughts. C-O-D, and that's consciousness on delivery. And my delivery is special overnight when I absolutely positively have got to get in your head by the very next day. And say, brothers and sisters, haven't you heard a word on the streets is, yo, bro, where's all the chronic? And I replied, dude, if you really want to blow your mind, I suggest you step into the dim lights and speak your mind or pay some mind or at least take the time to smell the shit they use to grow those roses. Like Moses, I'm about to part the green fog and the valley smog as they imprint on your train. Ain't no one can change the thoughts except the thinker. So when they try to tinker with your instincts and ask you to finalize the crime by... Signing on to dotted lines, just keep in mind how that all worked out for the restless natives. Man, this world needs a poet. Now, you don't have to take this advice, but I plan on getting mine by staying true to my rhyme and Asking myself each and every day, what would happen if I ran out of words? Could no longer be heard like that tree of life grown barren, no longer bearing forbidden fruit, but the truth only hurts the liars. Ouch. 
But now, every night the same rhymes are coming from me And my biggest fear is that I'll no longer even hear what's being said as I whore my words for 10 bucks a CD or books. I have books, I have CDs, and uh, you can catch them all on my link tree and my Kofi. So, you know, come by and check it out sometime. But anyway, so I plan on getting mine by staying true to my rhyme and asking myself each and every day what would happen if I ran out of words, could no longer be heard like that tree of life grown barren, no longer bearing forbidden fruit, but the truth only hurts the liars. Ouch. And now every night I, I'm whoring my words for 10 bucks a CD or a book and every night the same rhymes are coming for me and my biggest fear is that I'll no longer even hear what's being said like that player who only loves you till you're bled. And going to bed with these fears each and every night makes me want to fight the morning after where words just get lost that much faster. And by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, well, there really ain't all that much left to say, but I still want you to stay. Unfortunately, I'm at a loss for words. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you lost your words to carry the weight so your shoulders don't break from digging up a hundred generations of their buried shame, from subdividing cultures into soft, false social structures when all you wanted to do was play for the love of the game? Now, you might not think quite the same, but if you at least give it just a, just a little, just a little, just a little bit of thought, then you'll see that I ain't dissing you. In fact, you're the very reason I find myself here in El Paso, Texas, doing BWAM shows and being here on the Fresh Cut at this very venue. But them other whack-ass hut poets had best get a clue, because there is far more to just staying true than just rapping about yours, yourself, and you. Man, this world needs a poet. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for encouraging my behavior. Thank you for keeping the arts alive.